Ahoy, friends! Welcome to another Castles and Canals adventure. Join us aboard Virgin Voyage's Scarlet Lady as we spend a week cruising the irresistible Med and celebrating Tori's birthday. Let's go! It's time! Our first time! First time on Virgin Voyages, let's go! We've got our bracelets and we're ready to go. Thank you. We embarked in Barcelona and it couldn't have been easier to get aboard. By the time you step on the ship, your staterooms are already prepared and you can head straight there to drop off your things. And of course, watch your muster drill video. This one's a bit different than what we're used to. Of course, the second thing you do is start exploring and search out some lunch. For us, that means our first trip to the galley. On Virgin Ships, there is no buffet. Instead, there's a food hall style setup called the galley. It has several different stalls with a variety of different cuisines. Let's go have pizza. Hello, ladies. How about champagne to start up your No, thank you. <laughs> All right, we're on board. I am ready for some lunch. So we thought we'd come check out the galley first because it's like, uh, there's no buffet on Virgin Voyages. It's only like a kind of food court, like almost a food hall style setup. Uh, so I'm starting with Taco About It because I love tacos. I got the Al Pastor pork taco and the fried avocado taco. So let's have a taste and see how they are. We'll start with the fried avocado. The avocado was super creamy, nice crunch on the outside, definitely some spice there. Very, very good. And now let's try the Al Pastor. It's pork, there is some guacamole and some onions on here. I'm so excited. Nice flavor, a little bit of cilantro coming through there. Guacamole is great. Very strong start for the galley. As an alternative to the galley, on deck five, we found the pizza place. We are here at the pizza place, which I feel we'll be frequenting often. I got the standard margarita pizza while Tori went for the pesto chicken pizza. It's a delicious pizza. It's, um pesto is the pesto? I don't know. It's, I don't know. It's, it's, good, it's good pesto though. Very uh, hot and fresh. You order inside, they deliver, they give you a little um, beeper. beeper disc and uh, when it's ready they come out and go and get it. So it's all made like very very fresh for you as you want. Very good. As we were awaiting the sail away party, we thought we would explore the upper decks of the Scarlet Lady. The ship has two pools, starting with the athletic club pool. There's also a pair of non-jetted hot tubs here. Ahead of the athletic club, you'll find the aquatic club area and pool.
On the starboard side of deck 16, there are several private cabanas you can hire. They had a couple open so you could check them out. These are a bit pricey for what they are. I think a few hundred dollars for the day. Not something that we would ever do, but we did see a few that were occupied during our sailing. Okay, let's get ready for the sail away party. Can you say it? Ahoy, sailors! Oh, I like the energy already, but I need a little more, a little more, a little more prouder. Here at Virgin, we say ahoy. That means hello. Let me hear it again. Ahoy, sailors! Ahoy! Yes! Welcome to the Starlet Lady. My name is Janelle, the hostess. During the sail away party, they hand out glasses of free champagne, and you aren't limited to just one. But you have to be quick. Well, it looks like we're all here, so my naughty naughty sailors, you go ahead and raise that glass in the air. To the friends you have yet to discover, to the treasures you have yet to uncover, may your trip be filled with excitement and fun, and may your voyage with Virgin be an unforgettable one. So our port arrival day went fairly smoothly. We were able to get on the ship right about the time our port arrival uh, time was. So that was uh, pretty smooth. Smooth sailing, you might say. Yeah, we just went straight in. They take you into a room uh, where you go to a desk. They give you your little bands, and then you just walk around the ship. Very easy. Uh, we did a bit of exploring, and then we went to the pool deck for the sail away party, which is, how do you describe it? It's like a big dance party. Um, but the hostess and the diva were there and they set us off with some, some great music and some really fun people watching, lots of good dancing. So it was fun. Um, the heat was really kind of getting to us though. So after we departed, we came back to the room and we just kind of chilled for a bit, watched some friends, the one where Joey lost his insurance, if you're wondering, good episode. And, uh, yeah, so just had a little bit of a nap, just a little bit of chill in the room. And now we're going to go back out and try to find something to get into. Might check out the shops, maybe take it in trivia, we'll see when the night takes us. Alright, let's go.
Just got done watching a couple musicians in the roundabout. I believe they were called was it Ohana? Ohana duo. Ohana duo. Yeah, a married couple. They were phenomenal, outstanding. I want to watch them every single night. Yeah, absolutely incredible. Like yeah. they covered some like songs you wouldn't expect, like Hotel California and mm -hmm. and uh, Four Non Blondes. Like I mean, it was just yeah. She's from South Africa and he's from the Ukraine. And it was a really cool pairing. And Ohana clearly means family, and family means no one gets left behind. Also famous from Lilo and Stitch, and they both had Stitch dolls next to them. So extra points for being Disney fans, clearly. True. I'm missing my ears right now. But it was a fantastic show. Cannot wait to see them again. Yeah, I mean, she was an incredible singer. He was an incredible guitar player. Yeah, okay. I mean, his solos were just insane, so. Yeah. Yeah, looking forward to seeing them again on the trip. For sure. All right, let's go find a drink and a snack maybe. and Yeah, and then bed. And then bed. We got early, tomorrow, early morning tomorrow. We grabbed a quick bite down at the social club where they have snacks like wings, pretzels, hot dogs, and boozy milkshakes. What a fantastic first day. Join us next time for day two where we go ashore to visit Saint-Tropez and the French Riviera.